take cover. Severe thunderstorm warning continues for Ephrata and Leola until 4.15 p.m. That was the tweet posted by the National Weather Service at State College Saturday at 3.53 p.m. But by that time, residents in Clay, Elizabeth, and West Cacalico Townships believed a tornado had already touched down. The storm, which officials say caused $7 million in damages, destroyed or heavily damaged 22 farm buildings and downed hundreds of trees, some of which fell on homes and other structures in the storm that hit the area at about 3.30 p.m. According to the National Weather Service, all damage surveyed was blown in a straight line from the southwest, 210 degrees to the northeast. Numerous trees were toppled and snapped. There was damage to roofing, siding, and trim on homes, and dozen or so farms sustained substantial damage to barn roofs and silos. For reference, by the way, a microburst is defined as a connective downdraft with an effective outflow area of less than two and a half miles wide and peak winds lasting less than five minutes. Microbursts may include dangerous horizontal and vertical wind shears and cause property damage. Straight line winds are generally any wind that is not associated with rotation. Randy Gockley, director of Lancaster County Emergency Management Agency, said a state police helicopter flyover revealed the path of downed trees fell in the same direction on a path from Elizabeth to West Cacalico Townships. A tornado would have torn trees apart, he said. It clearly didn't have cyclonic wind effect. According to published reports, the February 25th storm created the most damage at $7 million since the February 24th, 2016 storm caused $8 million in damage to about 50 structures in the Salisbury Township.